Hey my lovely viewers and darling subscribers, welcome to my channel where I talk about all season finale of sex education. Today I'm going to give you a recap of sex education season 4, the hilarious and heartwarming show that follows the adventures of a group of British teens as they navigate their relationships and identity. If you haven't watched the show yet, what are you waiting for? Go binge it right now, because this video contains major spoilers. You have been warned that before that press me red I mean press that red subscribe button and also donate to my Patreon so that I could buy some nice skirts. Let's get to the story. Sex Education Season 4 is the final season of the show, and it takes us on an emotional roller coaster ride as we say goodbye to our favorite characters. The season starts with a big change, Moordale Secondary, the school where Otis and his friends used to run their clinic, has been shut down due to lack of funding. The students have to transfer to Cavendish College, a progressive and inclusive sixth-form school that has everything from gender-neutral toilets to vegan cafeterias. But not everything is as perfect as it seems at Cavendish, and our heroes have to face new challenges and rivals. One of the biggest challenges is Otis' long-distance relationship with Maeve, who is studying at a prestigious writing program at Wallace University in the U.S. Otis misses Maeve terribly. But he also has to deal with the presence of O, a student therapist who runs her own website and app at Cavendish. O claims that she is the original clinic founder, and that Otis stole her idea. Otis tries to prove her wrong, but he also develops feelings for Ruby, who becomes his ally against Otis. Maeve, on the other hand, has her own problems at Wallace University. Her professor, Thomas Malloy, is a harsh critic who constantly belittles her writing and makes her doubt her abilities. She also has to cope with the tragic news of her mother's death from an overdose, which brings her back to England and reunites her with her friends. Maeve has to decide whether to go back to America or stay with Otis. But Otis and Maeve are not the only ones who have relationship issues. Eric and Adam are finally in a public relationship, but they also have to deal with the distance between them. Eric gets accepted into a prestigious drama school in Paris, where he meets a charismatic and handsome French boy named Luke. Eric is torn between his loyalty to Adam and his attraction to Luke, while Adam tries to support him and overcome his insecurities. Ruby and Jackson also have their own dilemma. Ruby is pregnant with Jackson's baby, and they have to decide whether to keep it or not. Ruby is afraid of becoming like her mother, who abandoned her when she was young. Jackson is supportive of Ruby's choice, but he also wants to be involved in the baby's life. Meanwhile, there are some new faces at Cavendish who shake things up. Dan Levy plays Peter Groff, the estranged brother of Mr. Groff and a successful author who comes to teach creative writing at Cavendish. He takes a liking to Maeve and encourages her to pursue her passion for writing. Hannah Gadsby plays Miss Trudy Norris, the new headteacher of Moordale Secondary who tries to save the school from closure by turning it into a school. She is an activist who clashes with Hope Haddon, the former headteacher of Moordale who is now working for the Department of Education. Gillian Anderson plays Jean Milburn, Otis' mother and a therapist who gives birth to a baby girl named Elsie. She struggles with postpartum depression and reconnecting with Jacob, Elsie's father. The season culminates in a dramatic finale that wraps up the stories of all the characters. Otis and Maeve break up for good, realizing that they are growing apart and need to follow their own paths. Otis stays with Ruby, who decides to keep the baby and raise it with Jackson's help. Maeve goes back to America with Peter Groff as her mentor. Eric chooses Luke over Adam, who accepts his decision and moves on with Raheem. O apologizes to Otis for lying about being the original clinic founder, and they become friends. Ms. Norris succeeds in saving Moordale Secondary by turning it into a school that teaches comprehensive education. Hope Haddon resigns from her job after being exposed for abusing her power and manipulating students. Jean recovers from her depression and reconciles with Jacob. The final scene shows Otis and his friends graduating from Cavendish College and celebrating their achievements. They hug each other and say their goodbyes, knowing that they will always be connected by their shared experiences at Moordale Secondary. The cast of Sex Education Season 4 consists of many talented actors who portray the characters of the show. Here is a brief summary of their development in the stories, based on the web search results. Otis, played by Asa Butterfield, 
is the main protagonist of the show and a student therapist. In season 4, he faces new challenges and rivals at Cavendish College, where he tries to establish himself as the expert. He also struggles with his long-distance relationship with Maeve, who is studying in the U.S. Maeve, played by Emma Mackey, is Otis' love interest and co-founder of the clinic. In season 4, she is living her dream at Wallace University, where she attends a prestigious writing program. However, she also has to cope with the tragic death of her mother and her feelings for Otis. Eric, played by Shudi Gatwa, is Otis' best friend and a confident teenager. Adam, played by Connor Swindells, is the son of Mr. Groff and Eric's boyfriend. In season 4, he tries to support Eric's decision to go to Paris, but he also feels insecure and lonely. He tries to find his own identity and purpose in life. Ruby, played by Mimi Keen One, is one of the popular girls at Moordale and Otis Ally at Cavendish. In season 4, she is pregnant with Jackson's baby and has to decide whether to keep it or not. She also develops feelings for Otis and becomes his girlfriend. Amy, played by Amy Lou Wood, is one of Maeve's friends and a feminist activist. In season 4, she continues to fight for women's rights and empowerment at Cavendish. She also helps Jean with her radio show and becomes her assistant. Jackson, played by Kadar William Sterling, is a former swimmer and Ruby's boyfriend. In season 4, he supports Ruby's choice regarding the pregnancy and wants to be involved in the baby's life. He also explores his artistic side and joins a dance group. And that's it for Sex Education Season 4. I hope you enjoyed this recap as much as I enjoyed watching the show. Let me know what you think of the season and the ending in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Netflix content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.